Hi, I'm Brent, and I'm super excited to introduce you to Twilio Quest, a self-paced interactive way to learn Twilio. With Twilio Quest, we've created a game that rewards you while you learn the best practices of using our communications platform. You'll start by customizing your own avatar, and as you complete quests, you'll earn epic loot that you can deck out your avatar with to share with the world. It's super simple to get started on your Twilio Quest, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We'll start in the account settings or account creation page. And our first choice here is whether we want to use dark or light mode. I'm going to use light for the purpose of the screencast makes things a little easier to read, but use what works for your eyes. Then we can choose if we want to allow others to view our progress or not. If so, we're going to need a username for the profile. I'll name mine YouTube since we're on YouTube and I'll pick YouTube for my display name as well. Optionally, you can insert your Twitter username here. And as you complete quests, people will be alerted to your progress via our Twitter account. Next, we can select which avatar we want to use. We've got a bunch of pre-canned ones here, or you can customize your own if you want to make it look like you. So I'm going to pick a lighter skin for me, and then I'm going to tweak the hairstyle. So there's a bunch of different hairstyle options here. I want the one that kind of matches the face a bit. Uh, and then I'm going to change the hair color to match the skin and change the eyes to give myself glasses. And we'll end up with something that looks uh, a wee bit like Brent Schooley. Cool, awesome, we're ready to start our Twilio quest. All right, so we've landed on the missions page and you can see that there's a bunch of different missions you can jump into. We're gonna use the getting started mission and I advise that's where you start. Uh, and you can see there's a list of missions that each re reward a bunch of different levels of XP. And they also reward equipment. So this is going to tell you how to equip things as you earn them. Each mission is going to have an objective and some victory conditions. There's going to be a path to victory that will tell you the steps that you need to go through to get there. This one's going to walk you through uh, how to set your profile up so that other people can view your progress. It tells you how to walk through the avatar customization that we just did uh, in the previous step. And then it talks about how to get into your inventory. So you go into inventory, and you're going to find the Twilio Chucks of Increased Preparedness. Uh, and we're going to equip those. And it's going to give us 50 XP. So let's head over to the inventory. And then we have a couple pieces of loot. Because it's Halloween coming up, uh, we get this jack-o'-lantern mask until the 31st. Uh, but if we click equip on these Chucks, as the mission said to, we end up with 50 XP. So that's it for our first quest. Awesome. We can head back to missions. And we'll do the second quest, which is to buy a Twilio phone number. A lot of the challenges that you're going to face in Twilio Quest are going to require a Twilio phone number, so it's a good thing to get pretty early on. Again, the objective, uh, it's going to tell you that you need a phone number. Oh, look at this, a special reward for Halloween. When we complete this, we'll get a, a mummy mask. Cool, so we've got an objective, we've got a victory condition, which is a voice and SMS enabled number. Uh, and this is gonna introduce us to the self-verification that makes Twilio Quest easy for you to complete on your own. So the path to victory here, uh, we're gonna purchase a voice and SMS number from the Twilio console. Uh, and then we don't need to really set it up. So the step-by-step, -step, uh, it's gonna tell us where to go and what to do in addition to the path to victory. So this is going to walk you through how to uh, buy a phone number, but instead of using these instructions, I'm just going to show you how to buy a phone number right now. Inside of the Twilio console, we'll go to phone numbers and buy a phone number. I'm going to search by location. I'm going to search for a phone number in the Philadelphia area. I'll click search and I'll come down to the first Philadelphia number and click buy and then buy this number and then setup number so that we can get into the phone number setup screen just so we can copy this phone number out of here and take it back over to Twilio Quest. Once we're in Twilio Quest, we'll come down to the self-verification text box. We'll paste in the number there, and then we'll hit verify to get verification on this quest. And that's gonna pop up the animation that lets us know that we completed the objective and earned 50 XP. We'll click okay here, and then we'll head over to the next objective. Okay, our objective here is to explore the API Explorer. We're going to use the API Explorer to send a text message to our mobile phone. If you're on a trial account, you're going to make sure you uh, have verified that phone number with Twilio before you proceed. Uh, we'll grab the message body that we're going to send here out of this as well. Path to Victory is just going to describe the process of going to the API Explorer uh, and finding programmable SMS 
getting the messages API and going to post, the post request is what will send a, a text message. So basically what we want to do is use that post portion of the API Explorer to send a message to our verified phone number and then grab the message SID out of the response. That's what we're going to paste into the self-verification for this objective. So heading over to the API Explorer, we'll expand messages and open up post, which will create a message. Inside of here, we'll add our body that we pasted out before. And then under two, that's where you're going to want to put your cell phone phone number. Uh, and then select your Twilio number from the from box and scroll all the way down to make request. That'll send the text message. And then from in here, you can copy the message SID out to take back over to Twilio Quest. Back in Twilio Quest, we'll head to the self-verification text box, paste that in and click verify. And once again, we'll get the completion XP. All right, we're making great progress. We're halfway through the objectives in the getting started mission. Next one's gonna deal with Twimmel bins. Twimmel is the thing that makes responding to SMS messages and working with voice calls function. It's a XML language that basically tells Twilio what to do with incoming text messages and incoming voice calls. We're gonna use Twimmel bin so that we don't even have to use a server to host it. Path to victory here is just gonna describe the process of creating a Twimmel bin. And what we're gonna do with the Twimmel that we create in there is we're gonna to respond to an incoming voice call with a say verb, which is gonna do text to speech to the caller. Uh, and then we'll paste in the number once we've configured that. So inside of Twimmel bins, we'll create a new Twimmel bin. We're gonna call this one Twilio Quest Say Hello. And we'll change the Twimmel inside of here to include a response. Uh, we're responding to an incoming call. And inside that response, we're gonna say hello from Twilio Quest. So this is gonna do text to speech. So you get robot voice uh, back to the caller. Uh, and then we'll just close the response tag here and we'll see valid voice Twimmel down below the box. We'll hit create, come back over here. Uh, and then we wanna to go to our phone number. Inside of our phone number, we can say that when a call comes in, we wanna use Twimmel and we'll select our Twilio Quest say hello Twimmel bin. Now we can take our phone number back over to Twilio Quest so that Twilio Quest can verify that we have done so. And we get the 50 XP for Twimmel bins. On to the next objective, which is Twilio Functions. Here we're going to write some Node.js code inside of Twilio Functions. This is for use cases that are a little more advanced than just some static Twimmel. We're going to generate uh, a random SMS dog fact by using an API that returns uh, dog facts. So we're going to create a Twilio function that uh, uses the hello SMS template. We're going to name it SMS dog facts, give it a path of SMS dog fact, and then we're going to paste this code in step six into the function. So let's head over to Twilio functions to make this happen. Uh, inside of functions, we'll click the plus and add a function based on the hello SMS template. Once that loads up, we'll rename the function to SMS dog facts and give it a path of slash SMS dash dog dash facts. And then we'll come down to the code and paste in the code from step six in the path to victory. This uses the got module for node to make an HTTP request to this dog API, which will return a fact. And we'll stuff that fact into a text message and return the Twimmel so that Twilio can respond to the incoming text message with the dog fact. Heading back over to our phone number, we can head down to where it says a message comes in and change that to function. And then we can select our SMS dog facts function out of the list and hit save. Once that is saved, we'll be able to use a phone to send a text message to this number. So I'll pull out my phone and I'll ask for a dog fact and Twilio will respond with a dog fact from the API. Awesome, let's take our Twilio phone number back over to Twilio Quest and punch it into self-verification to get those sweet, sweet XP. Awesome, 50 more XP for us. We'll go to the next objective, which is to set up ngrok. Ngrok is great if you have some code running locally that you wanna test, but something in the outside internet needs to request from it. Uh, this gives you a way to tunnel your local host port out to the public internet using a URL. 
So ngrok is great when you're testing Twilio applications because Twilio is going to need to ask your server what to do when an incoming text message comes in or when an incoming phone call comes in. So let's get ngrok set up. We're going to do a simple hello world. I'm going to use Node.js, but you can use whatever you want. What we're going to get out of this is we're going to set up a web page that returns hello world, and then we're going to set up ngrok so that we could reach that from the public internet. As I mentioned, uh, Node.js is in the path to victory here, but if you look down below in the resources, you'll find uh, some guides for other languages and frameworks as well. But basically, we're going to create a web application that has a simple hello world message. We're going to run it locally. We're going to use ngrok to create a tunnel, uh, and then we're going to give that tunnel URL to Twilio Quest to verify that we did it. Here's all of those uh, different guides for different languages. We're going to use the Hello World in Node.js and Express for our application. Feel free to use the language and the framework that's most comfortable to you uh, to complete this project. This is what the uh, getting started Hello World example looks like for Node.js. Uh, and like I said, we'll use that right now to create our Hello World. Inside of a terminal window, I'll install Express and a bunch of the other prereqs that were mentioned and create a server.js file and paste in the hello world code from that getting started guide. And we'll save that. And then I will start that server using node server.js. And then it starts running at port 8081 of localhost. Now that's not going to work. So what you want to do is go download ngrok for your particular OS download and install it. And once you've got that installed, you can head back to your terminal window. And instead of doing localhost port 8081, we'll use ngrok to create an HTTP tunnel on port 8081. When this spins up, it's going to give us a URL that's publicly addressable that anybody on the internet can hit. So we can take that over to a web browser and paste it in, and we get the hello world out of our node application. Now we can tell Twilio Quest to hit that ngrok URL and see if it sees Hello World as well. And we'll click Verify, and it can, so we have earned 100 XP for completing the objective. At this point, we've finished the Getting Started mission, and we've earned a Twilio account credit. This $20 account credit goes right into your Twilio account and provides a lot of funds for you to be able to complete the rest of the Twilio Quest missions. If you click Apply Credit now, you'll get a bunch of instructions for how to apply it to your account. If you haven't upgraded your account, you have to do this uh, here on the billing page when you get there. Uh, but click on the Add Funds button, say I have a promo code, and enter the promo code that's down below uh, into that box and hit Add Funds. I'm not gonna do this in my account because I don't want you to see my billing info or my address, but uh, you can do that on your own account. Uh, we have one last thing that we have to do here, and that's to equip our Twilio track jacket. That's what we give customers who've built something awesome with Twilio, and you definitely, definitely apply by completing this Getting Started mission. Uh, you'll also note that you've collected a lot of Halloween gear at this point, so if you want to play around with some of that, uh, feel free. Heading back to the missions page, you're going to find a lot of things that you can work on here in Twilio Quest. You can complete as much or as little of this as you want from here. I look forward to seeing what you build. And let us know if there's anything we can add to Twilio Quest to make it even better. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click or tap the Twilio logo on the bottom left to subscribe so you know when we make more. If you want to get the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. And if you want to watch another video, I picked one just for you. Until next time, I'm out of here.